talk about campaigns. We're going to show you how to add screen type to campaigns, how to add timelines, channels, and how to assign the final output of the campaign to a physical machine, to a station. So first let's go ahead and define what's a campaign. A campaign is a collection of timelines, resources, screen divisions, components. So all those different items that are used within the Signage Studio are bundled into one single configuration and that configuration is defined as a campaign that campaign is assigned to a single machine out in the field so if you have multiple computers out running a presentation they can all run the same campaign or they can run a different campaign that's up to you but keep in mind that a physical computer a physical machine what we call a station out in the field that's running a presentation can only run one campaign at one time so let's go ahead and define a new campaign right now we have one campaign called campaign demo let's go ahead and add a brand new campaign so make sure you're selecting the campaign timelines section of the Sun Studio. So let's go ahead and add a brand new campaign. Click on the plus sign over here to go to the wizard. Go ahead and call this our campaign demo 2. Click on next. And over here, if you already have a screen predefined, you can select it from the drop down. We'll just go ahead and define a brand new screen. So click on the create new button. We'll select an HD type screen, so it's going to be 1920 by 1080 and call this our demo screen 2 and click on next and tell the system to go ahead and generate some screen divisions for us and click on finish. And now we're back to the campaign wizard, click on next and we'll go ahead and start with a single timeline called timeline 1 and have it run for one minute and click on next and now we'll select the default screen division so we'll go ahead and select this one over here and click on finish. So as you can see, we have our campaign demo 2 over here to the left. There were three channels that were already created for us and they were assigned automatically to the screen divisions. If we select the screen layout, you can see if I zoom out a little bit, that everything is color coded. So we know that any content is going to run on the blue channel is going to run over here, on the green is going to run over here, and on the red is going to run on the bottom. So everything was pre-assigned for us. Now if for example you didn't like the channel assignment and you wanted to create a different channel assignment you can simply select a particular channel, drag and drop it and assign it to a different channel. So it's really easy to reassign the channels. And you can see that the color changes over here under the output so it indicates exactly where everything is assigned. Now the way it's configured right now is that I have a single timeline that's going to run for one minute. In fact if I select it you can see that it has a duration of one minute. Now let's say that I want actually to have this timeline run for two minutes, but after one minute I want to switch from a three screen division configuration to a full screen. So let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit over here. And you can see that right now it's uh, one minute in length, so I'll go ahead and set this to be two minutes in length, so my timeline is twice as long. And what I want to do now is switch to a full screen after one minute, so I'll switch over here to my screen template, select screen division one, which is a full screen configuration drag and drop that to the timeline and set it to be exactly two minutes to reach the end. But one more thing I need to do is actually assign a channel. Right now you see it kind of has a, a pale blue color to it because it has no channel assigned to it. So I can select any channel I want. So in my case I want to switch the content of the red channel from a smaller screen division to a full screen after one minute. So select channel two and drag and drop it over here. And you can see that now I know exactly what's going to play. It's going to be the red content that's going to switch from a smaller screen division to a full screen division. Now we're going to want to add some resources to actually play in our presentation. So switch to resources. We'll select this video file, hold the mouse and drag and drop it to the channel 2. And we'll set it for the full length of the timeline. So what's going to happen is that it's going to start small in the upper right corner on the red channel and after one minute switch into a full screen. Next, we'll go ahead and add an image to our blue channel. Now, if you'd like, you can extend this image to be all the way to the end of the timeline. However, keep in mind, it's only going to play for one minute because it's only assigned to the blue screen division that plays for one minute. And now for the green channel on the bottom, let's go ahead and add an RSS component. So we'll switch to components. Scroll to the RSS news, drag and drop that to channel 1. You can double click on it to load up its properties or you can click on this icon right here to edit the item. And we'll set it to be a horizontal, change the colors, and make the fonts 
a little bit bigger. And now let's go ahead and click on play and watch our presentation. So you can click on the play right over here under the timelines and actually watch what we've built. So you can see we have the video right here, we have the image, and we have the RSS ticker on the bottom. Now let's go ahead and watch what happens when one minute is up and we're going to transition to our second minute. And you can see that the video automatically jumped into a full screen. So next, let's go ahead and talk about having multiple timelines. As you can see right now, we're working with just a single timeline. But if this timeline is, let's say, 24 hours, it would get very long and very difficult to work with. So what we do is we support multiple timelines. And what you can do is you can add more than one timeline to a campaign and control the order or the sequence of these timelines. So let's go ahead and click on the plus sign right here to add the second timeline. We're going to go ahead and name this our timeline 2 and set it to be maybe 5 minutes in length. And click on next. And again, select the screen division just like before and click on finish. So what's going to happen is that the system by default will play timeline 1 first and then when that's over, it will go ahead and switch into timeline 2. And of course, over here you can start adding your resources just like before. Now, if you wanted to control the order of the playback of these timelines or the sequence, you can switch over here to the sequences module. You can select the timeline that you want and simply drag and drop it to change the order. So now what we've done is we've telling the system to go ahead and play timeline two first and then go ahead and play timeline one. You can also set the repeat. So for example, if I wanted to have timeline one play for five times before switching back to timeline two, you can change both the repeat and the order. Now with the campaign, you also have the option to set the timelines to a scheduler rather than a sequencer. So to do that, select the campaign and under its properties, switch over here to the scheduler you'll notice that the button right here will change the schedules and select it and then you would be able to select the timeline drag and drop it to the set date and set the different parameters on when to actually run the particular timeline now once you've done with your campaign you can physically assign it to a computer out in the field so let's go ahead and switch over here to stations and you can see that I have one station over here right now that's currently off and I can assign it to the campaign that we've built so all I have to do is go here from the drop down and select campaign demo 2 and click on file save to push the presentation to that device. So thank you for watching and if you have any questions be sure to speak to our support team.